Here's an example of resonance. We have two tuning forks and they are standing on wooden boxes and if I hit one the vibration of this one will travel inside that wooden box and it will be picked up by the second one and that will vibrate also. So when the frequencies of those two objects are identical then the frequency can travel from one to the other. The other picks it up because they are identical. If I modify the frequency of the second one by just putting on another object then it will not pick up the sound of this one because this vibrates at a different frequency than that one. So it looks like this, simple wooden boxes and the tuning fork is just inserted into an opening here. And that's it, the second one is also the same, it's identical. So let's just insert that there. They transmit the vibration best when these openings are next to each other. So let's put it there and hit it. You can hear the vibration. Let's hit that one also. You can hear the sound, so it picked it up. Let's modify the frequency. I just insert that there. And now if I hit it, it will be totally silent. Tiny gap there because there's friction between them. Nothing. Let's try it once again. Nothing. You can hear the clock in the background. Okay, now let's take it off. Silence. You can hear it vibrating. Okay, so that's the resonance. Now here's the phone. Let's open a spectrum analyzer. I have a few of them. Let's try the first one. So as I'm speaking, all of those frequencies from my voice are shown there. And the most powerful is shown using a blue number. So let's insert this there. And I paused it. 439 Hertz it says. If I use a different application it will tell a slightly different frequency. Let's try another one. This looks like this. Insert it there. I just paused it. This one says 430 Hertz. So they are not totally equal. Let's try a third one. 430 Hertz. So this is sound resonance, transmission of a frequency between two identically tuned objects. Both of them are vibrating at the same frequency and thus the energy can travel from one to another. If the frequency of one is different, energy is not traveling between them. If I put them side by side, then it's pretty silent, but if I place it towards the camera, sound can exit much easier and thus it's louder. Let's reverse them. So the metal is vibrating, don't touch that one. I will silence this one by touching it, but I will lift that one up by touching the wood. If the sound is not transmitted from one to the other, that means that there is no good connection between, let's say, this wood part and that part. The glue is not good anymore. It's slightly moving and thus the vibrations cannot travel from this metal to that metal. I can't hear anything. So the connection is bad here, I think. But the vibrations travel even better if the two boxes are touching each other. So let's try that one. There is a rubber feet there, so those will dampen the vibrations. Hear this sound. So the weight of the metal is disconnecting that one. So let's just try it. I will hit one. Let's say that one. It's much louder. And the sound is still noticeable there. much louder 
and this one is not picking it up <laughs> so the connection is bad let's push it there even more it's not vibrating strange noises so let's try it again using the left one So this one picks up the frequencies much better because probably there's a better connection there. Now let's see what happens if I modify the frequency. So as I speak it's showing the frequency up there. This is audio spectrum monitor. Audio spectrum monitor. It has a hold function here. I can stop that one. Let's try that one. Uh, so my ah uh, sound was 127 Hz remove the hold and it's continuing so let's hit it shut up so this was 439 Hertz according to this software so one single frequency is much more powerful 439 Hertz if I place my hand onto one 420 something is shown there when I hit it 429 439 so it's vibrating a little bit but the time is much much less I cannot hear anything but the device is detecting it so here is cracked that's why it's not transmitting the vibrations it still sounds now let's try this one. It still works. But if the sound vibrations are not transmitted, then you can simply pull it out, hold it from this lower side. By the way, 440 is mentioned there. 440 hertz. Put it in contact with the wooden part. And there is the sound. The sound is much more powerful if you are listening to that opening. So let's try that one. It's pretty silent. Now it's pretty noisy. 